Hey everybody, I know that it's Halloween week, I know you're probably sad about being in class without me, but you did not clean the room up Friday. You clean your room. You hear me? Clean that room up. If you don't have this done from last week, get it done. If you don't have this done from last week, get it done. Yeah. Alexa, turn off. All right. Enough goofing off. Let me get you off of here so I can talk to you. Woo. Hey. All right. Thought it'd be fun every day if I just dressed up so that y'all could have some entertainment while you're in class. So, anyway, today's word is mummification. So, let me show you a picture of that on my screen. There it is. And there is a mummy inside that glass case. Yes. So mummification is our word of the day for Monday. Make sure you write that in your <coughs> interactive notebook. Write the part of speech. Write the definition. Use it in a sentence. Write a synonym and an antonym. So mummification is today's word. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing this week. Let me set you down right here so I can see you. Okay. So, first of all, you're going to be getting, during reading time, you're going to be going to your centers like we did last week. So, President Caleb in Miss Evans' room and President Noah in Miss Mays' class, you guys are going to go get the sticks out of the little pockets up on the board and you are going to mix those up and put them in the pockets and separate all the kids and tell everybody what group they're going to be in. Okay? So, here's what you're going to get with that. You are going to be reading some Halloween books. Your substitute has your Halloween books. There will be one at each center, and then you'll also have the computer center. So, you're going to be getting this packet this week. So, on the cover, you are supposed to draw a picture of what you would be for Halloween if the if you could be anything that you wanted to be. So if you could dress up like any single thing and it didn't matter how much it cost or how good the makeup had to be or anything and someone would get you ready for Halloween, what would you be? And you're going to draw an illustration right here and you're going to write what it is right there. Because our skill this week is visual imagery. So for reading, everything we're going to be doing has to do with visual imagery. And that is where you make a picture in your mind using the information that you've been given of what you think something should look like. Okay, so that's page one. Then page two in your packet, <clears throat> you're gonna be reading the story, The Big Pumpkin, okay? So if you're at the Big Pumpkin Center, you can either choose one person to read the book to everyone, or you can take turns reading. You, you just need to make sure that while you're reading the book, let me show you, you need to be holding the book like this towards your group and reading it so that they can see the pictures and hear what you're saying. So like I said, you can do it either way. You can choose one person to read the whole story or you can pass the book and take turns, okay? So anyway, you're gonna read The Big Pumpkin and it tells you on here that this is a rhyming book. So you're gonna have to come up with five words out of this book that rhyme and you're gonna have to put two of them together um, in each section right up here at the top and make five of those. And then you are going to use alliteration that is where you take one letter and the next word after that word has to start with the same letter. So if you did uh, stinky skeleton, that would be SS. Prickly pumpkin, PP, okay? So you have to take those and you're gonna come up with a picture here and then you're gonna do your Ill alliteration and your rhyming words in this little area right down here and it will tell you what the exact directions are for that. I just wanted to give you a review about alliteration. Then the next page is the computer center. It's called the Day of the Dead Center and it has questions that you will be answering while you are using the computer for the informative part of finding out what the Day of the Dead is in the Mexican culture. And then when you get done answering the questions, you are going to make a sugar skull. Here is mine. 
that I give you a little example. Sugar skulls are very colorful and bright. So you can choose, there's three different designs you can pick from, and you are welcome to choose whatever design you want when you get to the computer center, okay? Then the next center is, you'll be reading the book, The Halloweener. Now, if you've never read the book, The Halloweener, it's pretty funny. So you're gonna read the book same way as you read The Big Pumpkin, um, The Halloweener. And then once you get done with the Halloweener, you are going to decide what you think the Halloweener should dress like for Halloween. So here is mine, and no, you cannot copy mine. My Halloweener is Harry Potter. Deet, deet, deet. Okay, so you just draw an outfit on there, whatever you want your Halloweener to be. It could be anything you want, okay? Then the next book, when you move to the next center, is called Boogie Bones, and it is about a dancing skeleton. And you are going to read that story the same way you read the other two. And when you get done, you are going to cut out a skeleton body, and you are going to create your own dance move. And your skeleton must be performing that dance move. And you have to name it. So you gotta be real creative. So here is mine. And this is called the Y, the letter Y, not. And it's because he looks like a Y. And notice his shirt, it's a Y with an N or it's a Y with an N. <laughs> and you can add accessories. I drew him a shirt and some shorts and I gave him some sunglasses. So you can make that out of white paper. You can add anything to it you want. And those are your things for your reading packet. So this is what you're doing during reading time today after you get done with Word Nerd. So that is what I want you to do and make sure that if you did not get your stuff done for um, last week, the special effects packet, you turn that in. And today you will probably, if you're in my homeroom, you'll probably only be able to get one center done, maybe one and a half. If you're in Miss Mays' class, you're probably gonna get two or two and a half done. So this should not be done today. Okay, and then tomorrow we'll keep rotating and then uh, Wednesday we'll keep rotating till we get this all completed, okay? And then on Thursday, when science camp comes that afternoon and Friday morning, if you don't have it all done, you can finish anything that you don't have completed. All right, so that is what we are doing for reading today. So if you are the sub, now it is time to pause. So pause here. Okay, now I'm back. So it's social studies time. So for social studies today, we're going to be reading chapter four in our Mummies and Pyramid book. So this book right here, you're gonna be reading chapter four today. The substitute will call on different people to read. Make sure you read all the stuff, even the captions and the Jack and Annie's. And then we're gonna be making a couple things today and it's gonna be all about the mummification process. So it's important that you pay attention. So first, we are going to get our Egyptian pockets out. And in our Egyptian pockets, if you do not go to Miss Sanders' class, then you will be doing your Mummies and Pyramid Chapter 4 paper. It has a front and a back. Okay, then you will also be doing this today. So when you get done reading in your Mummies and Pyramids uh, folder, you're going to be putting the steps to making a mummy. And this is right here. It's going to go right next to that on that side. Okay. And all the steps are right in chapter four. There's no reason to get any of them wrong. They're right in the mummification process in chapter four. Once you get them glued in your folder, you're also going to write them down on this bigger sheet. I did mine and everybody needs to do theirs in different colors so you can see the different steps. And then you are going to glue this into your interactive social studies, not reading, social studies notebook, okay? So everybody needs to do this and everybody needs to do the mummy steps. Both those things have to be done by everyone. This goes in your interactive notebook right after the political party section, okay? Then we also are going to be making a um, mummification mask. This is where they would paint the face to look like the person who was deceased and they would place this over the mummy. It would usually be made with beautiful gold and paint and jewels and so you're going to have this paper 
and when you get done with it you can color it whatever color you want but here's what mine looks like we're gonna glue it to the front of this folder so it should be there's that when you close it we're gonna put it on the front okay and that is your mummification okay and so um, push pause that is your social studies oh I did want want to tell you one more thing I'm gonna be showing you tomorrow look at this cool book it has all the parts as you go it takes it off so we can see all the mummification but I'm gonna show it to you tomorrow because I want you to do it first today and then tomorrow I will show you this book okay and then if you will stop the video I will be reading out loud on video number two and it will say read aloud okay so I will see you back here in just a little bit